behind me. This large tree fell down, toppled over because of the storm right into these people's uh, backyard, causing a lot of damage. As you can see, a pretty large tree, but it didn't cause that much damage. It hit the trailer in the back behind in the backyard, uh, broke one of the windows, fell into the shed over here to my right but it didn't cause really any damage. What it did do, brought down a power line, and that power line took out a lot of power all around this area, causing some TVs to shut off uh, instantly. One neighbor said he thought it was a gunshot or an earthquake, but he saw the TV turn off, came out here, saw this large branch just down here, uh, breaking through this fence. So what we know at this time, PG&E came through a couple minutes ago, took down that. Uh, power line, so it is uh, off now. There are no live power lines here at the time. PG&E says if there are any down power lines because of a storm, to stay away, call 911 or PG&E, and they'll get that taken care of. Live from Oildale, Ken Masenchi, 23 ABC. And in downtown Bakersfield, another tree fell during the storm, this time on 18th Street near R Street. That's near Mill Creek. And this video is from a 23 ABC News viewer showing the damage from the tree falling near an apartment complex. Fortunately, though, no injuries were reported. Meanwhile, southbound line, lanes of Highway 99 were at a halt this afternoon following a crash in North Bakersfield. It happened around 1.30 just south of Olive Drive. Drivers were backed up all the way to 7th Standard Road, but fortunately that crash cleared up in a about an hour. Oh, we missed the thunder and we missed the lightning, but those winds were pretty strong today. Let's take a look at the live cams throughout our county. Bakersfield, we can see a break in the clouds and some sun rays are penetrating those clouds, but to Hatchapi, it's cloudy and it's raining. Now, via Kern River, visibility is slow, and through the grapevine, the winds are picking up. Now, this low pressure is already in our state, giving us, well, that bad weather that we experienced today. The worst of the weather has already exited to the east of Bakersfield, and it's moving right back to the high higher elevation snow starts at around 6,000 feet lower than that is too warm so we, you will see just precipitation by Fraser Park temperatures will start to drop for the night and then we can see some snowflakes we can see that we have some light sprinkles in Bakersfield well some more moderate rain by south of Delano and then we start seeing that rain over at Tehachapi I have more coming up next now back to you all right, Jesus, thanks. And gusty winds brought blowing dust ahead of the rain at the base of the grapevine. And that's where we find 23 ABC meteorologist Mike Boyce. Mike, how are drivers dealing with this weather? A little nervous over the grapevine. It uh, says wind advisory, so uh, the car has been pushing back and forth already, so it's a bit, uh, a bit scary. Gusty winds ahead of the cold front and rain kicked up dust and caused concern for drivers. Try to get over there, stay away from some of these big Mack trucks and trailers, uh, which uh, they're not advising for them to go over that area. So uh, I'm going to proceed with caution. Highway signs advised against pulling trailers over the grapevine due to gusty winds, but some drivers said they had no choice. You know, I had to, I had to do it today. I wish I could wait a little bit longer, but it has to be done today. Balderas offered advice for drivers traveling with trailers. I don't, not to do it. <laughs> not to do it if you don't have to. I mean, if you can wait, just wait. Another driver, originally from the Northeast, wasn't worried at all. No, I've lived in the Northeast and driven through 30 inches of snow uh, without any problems, a little bit of rain and wind really shouldn't be a problem. And for one driver heading to Disneyland, nothing could stand in her way. Oh, rain doesn't scare me from Disneyland. Might keep me inside otherwise, but not, not the happiest place on earth. Rain can't mess that up. <laughs> That was Mike Boyce reporting, and today's storms knocked out power to thousands of people all across Bakersfield. One of the outages caused after a power pole caught fire. 23 ABC's Alicia Patillo spoke to one resident who saw the flames today. Alicia. Tim, I have been all over Bakersfield all day today, and the winds were very, very strong. It was only a matter of time before those winds knocked down a power line. I'm in the Oildale area where this area was affected by some of those storms. Ed Walton had just got back from the grocery store when he heard a loud noise. His lights went out and then they came back on. But seconds later, he heard a buzzing sound and ran out the house. He saw other neighbors gathering around an electric pole and looking up above. So I started coming to the front and then it did it again and then the light stayed off and my neighbors said that they saw sparks flying everywhere because a palm tree branch flew down and crossed the wires of the electrical wires. 
Walton says there's usually not too many power outages in Oildale when it storms. And he applauded Oildale Alicia Patillo, 23 ABC. All right, Alicia, and thanks for that. Now check out this live look from the 23 ABC roof cam right here in downtown. And you can see sunshine. So it looks like the storm is finally moving out of the area. And Jesus Lopez will have more on what we can expect overnight. And stick with 23 ABC throughout the night. We'll bring you the latest weather updates tonight at 6 and, of course, at 11. And as always, stay up to date using the 23 ABC News mobile and tablet apps. 23 ABC News is tracking new developments tonight in a series of threats at local high schools. The district is now offering a reward to help catch the culprits. More messages were found this morning, one at South High School and one at West High School. This all comes after messages have been found in recent days at other area schools, all part of the Kern High School District. The district tells 23 ABC News that while none of the threats so far is credible, a reward is being offered for information that leads to an arrest and conviction of the students involved. So far, no arrests have been made. The trial for a former firefighter charged with murder in the death of his lover's husband started today. Jonathan Hearn faces a first degree murder charge for the 2014 shooting death of Robert Lamone. Last year, Hearn's legal team opted out of a jury trial, but they have since changed that. Visitation for male inmates at Lerdo Jail has been canceled for the weekend as authorities investigate a large fight that happened last night. The facility itself is no longer on lockdown and visitation for all other Lerdo facilities remains open. Officials say the fight broke out around 8.30 last night and involved 75 inmates. Ten were hurt, five were taken to Kern Medical for treatment. Several students are lucky tonight after everyone escaped injury following a school bus crash this morning in East Baker sealed. The bus full of students crashed with another vehicle at around 7 o'clock in the area of Vineland and Breckenridge Roads. Some students complained of pain, but no one was seriously hurt. The crash was investigated by the CHP. Adult retailer Hustler Hollywood is two weeks away from opening its first Bakersfield store, but some people say it's in the wrong location. The adult store sits on the corner of Ming Avenue near South Real Road and Highway 99. It's across the street from a Chuck E. Cheese and a Toys R Us, and that has some parents on edge. You got an elementary school down the street. Um, there's no, one not too far from here. You got Chuck E. Cheese for here, for God's sakes, where all the parents come bring their kids. If it wasn't so close to my house and my kids didn't have to see the, the billboard and we didn't have to drive by it all day, every day, I guess it wouldn't be a problem. The VP of Sales for Hustler says they're used to hearing about people being opposed to the store wherever they open a new location, but he reassures residents they won't be displaying anything inappropriate on their windows. The store's grand opening slated for Saturday, March 26th. Well, coming up, how long this rain is expected to stick around, and we'll give you a full look at KernCast 23. And more from that tree that fell in Oildale, the residents now dealing with the cleanup. Stick with 23 ABC News for live weather coverage. Coming up tonight, the new fights breaking out at a Trump rally both inside and outside, the deadly flooding, hundreds of rescues, and celebrating Nancy Reagan, former presidents, former first ladies, and Diane Sawyer speaking at Reagan's funeral. Next. This past year, 23 ABC began Made in Kern County, stories about special businesses. I'd like to invite you to watch Thursday nights at 6, only on 23 ABC. Extra, extra. What to expect when you're expecting baby number three. Almost surreal. Extra, the only show with Alec and Ilaria Baldwin after breaking their big news. Then, while she's campaigning to get the Mirror Ball trophy. We have to keep winning. Her ex-husband is on a mission to make America great again. So does Trump get Marla's vote? We have the chance to follow our dreams. Only on Extra. Tonight at 6.30 on 23 ABC. It's the Ashley Home Store Save and Style event. Why pay $4,000 elsewhere for this designer poster bed when it's $8.99 at Ashley? Hurry in for anniversary savings of over $3,100. Plus, pay no interest for 36 months. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Shop now at AshleyHomeStore.com. What are you doing the rest of your life? Whatever you're doing, you'll enjoy it more at Brighton Parks, Bakersfield's premier active adult community. Juetta Avenue, just north of Stockdale Highway. The law office Sylvia Lopez represents people who have suffered injuries in car accidents, workers injured while on the job, 
the severely disabled who are seeking benefits because they're unable to work. We can help you. Call us for a free consultation. It's here. Change. A change in what we create. How we invent. Changing the way you move, the way you feel, and now, the way you see. LED headlight technology and other BMW i8 innovations available in the BMW 5 Series. We only make one thing, the ultimate driving machine. Right now, lease a BMW 528i sedan for as low as $4.99 a month. The nation stopped to honor an icon. Former First Lady Nancy Reagan was laid to rest next to her beloved husband at the Reagan Library. 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle was in Simi Valley all morning where hundreds came to honor the former First Lady and some locals even in attendance. Today, the nation mourned the end of an era with former First Lady Nancy Reagan's funeral. It's just an honor. It's just, it's a, it's an amazing honor. In attendance, three young men from Bakersfield. Our boys didn't know, you know, we had to talk to them about it. Like, this is, this is an amazing opportunity. And they're like, well, what, what does it mean? What is it about? And we started just talking to them about her legacy and, you know, and Ronald Reagan's legacy. Absolutely. These Navy Sea Cadets had a busy day that started at sunrise. Today, we're going to be just greeting the guests that are here and talking to people and just, Look, or looking good for the sea cadets. The Trident Patrol was the closest cadet unit to the library, giving the young group the opportunity of a lifetime to make their school, their city, and their family proud. It's kind of like takes you to awe. It's it's an eye opener. It's just to do this kind of stuff is it's a privilege. The training program gets these young men ready for a future in the military and helps financially with college. I'm just honored to represent Bakersfield in the best way you possibly can. It's real great. It's a good feeling. It's good feeling for my family and everything, too. An honor for these future leaders from Bakersfield as the nation honors the life of such an influential woman. Cassie Carlisle, 23, ABC.